hi I thought that I would hang out on my porch today and tell you six sort of real important identifying facts about myself if you don't know who I am and 20 random facts my name is Julia my last name Scott is not spelled with a K to be super special because it's a Swedish name I'm almost 35 years old and I still get carded sometimes I'm a journalist and a writer, but I also make some money selling my pottery. I've gotten more comfortable actually calling myself a potter, and I think I'm going to make a video about all the different names we call ourselves as creative people. I live in Stockholm, in Sweden. I've also lived in Massachusetts and in California. I have been married for six years. Uh, we've been together for eight years, and if you only know me online, then you've probably seen his full face maybe three times. Uh, in those eight years. I like to think of him as Wilson from uh, Tool Time. And random things about me. I have a master's degree in film studies. Uh, my thesis was on romantic comedies. I have a cleft uvula. That little dangly thing in the back of your throat, mine is split in two. And I've never really been able to get a picture of it, so I don't think I can get footage of it. And even if I did, that's kind of gross. My birthday is October 31st, Halloween, and I was born on my actual due date, which is apparently only 4% of babies. I was also born on a Sunday, which is supposed to give you special powers, and I'm still waiting for those. I hate beeping microwaves, so if I can, I always turn them off when there's like a couple of seconds left. My husband's favorite color is orange, so we have a lot of orange details in our house. For the first 15 years or so of my life, I didn't eat cheese, so I would have burgers and pizza without cheese. Now I love pretty much all kinds of cheese. At one point I had enough polka dot dresses that I could wear them for at least two weeks every day without any repeats. I've, I've gotten rid of some of them so now I think I'm down to maybe one week, uh, a couple more days if you count skirts. I speak Swedish, English, Russian, and Spanish. My dad is Swedish and my mom is Russian. I learned to knit when I was really really small but I only got back into it really heavily makes it sound like a drug, which it kind of is, about 15 years ago, and um, got into nice yarn like, I don't know, five or 10 years ago, which is a dangerous habit. And uh, now I have a lot of shawls and socks and sweaters and stuff. Uh, I also have a knitting podcast, and I wrote a book about knitting. I have three brothers and one sister, and I have 10 nieces and nephews. A couple of years ago, I found my first white hair, which I don't think is that big of a deal. What does freak me out is that I've started getting white eyebrow hairs, which makes me feel like I'm going to have that sort of mad professor wiggly huge eyebrows in just a few years. So see what happens. I didn't drink alcohol until I was like 22 or 23. I tried it a couple of times when I was a teenager, but I didn't really like it. So I didn't. I used to have my tongue, my belly button and my nipples pierced. And uh, now I only have my ears pierced uh, and I've been working slowly on re-piercing some of the holes that have grown over. Uh, the most I had in my ears at one time was 10 piercings. On the inside of my wedding ring, it says less than three, you know, like an internet heart. And actually my wedding ring is my husband's engagement ring because we discovered that we were the same size. So we just swapped at the ceremony. I actually sometimes swap out my wedding ring. I bought some antique rings that I wear if I want to feel fancy or if my fingers get really hot in the summer. And actually, actually, I don't always wear a ring at all because I tend to take it off when I'm working with clay uh, and then I don't always remember to put it back on. My parents have lived in England for the last nine years. Uh, my mom works at the University of Cambridge. I had one of my baby teeth until I was 33. There wasn't an adult tooth underneath, so when I finally had to have it pulled, there's just a gap there now. And I can't think of a 20th random thing. So I guess number 20 is that I'm either boring or kind of stupid. And with that, I leave you. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Leave any comments in the comments. And be nice to yourself. Drink some water. Take a nap. And I'll see you later. Bye.